Hi, I'm Wes Smuts with McGraw Real Estate, and today we are here with Carol Dingle, the co-founder and GM of Dingle's Cafe in Rockhampton. It's definitely one of my favorite spots. You can find me most weeks grabbing a lunch or breakfast here. Um, we are here to chat a little bit to Carol about her experiences and how she sees kitchens in her life. Hi, thank you for chatting with me today. Yeah, hi, Vince. Yes. So, um, you grew up in a in a family in the country, right? Yes. Yes. So, what I what I wanted to talk to you about is how, how do you what are your memories in and around kitchens in a big family growing up? Yeah. Look, was as a, a large family in growing up, you know, in the country, the kitchen was the main part of the house, really. Um, so from when we were young, like the six kids and mum and dad, so a family of eight, all sitting around a table. Probably some of my fondest memories of the kitchen is, um, you know, like is when the whole family were there, you know. Dad would always sit at the head of the table. Um, and in a big family also, once again, you know, nothing is, is sacred as yes. such. So as the years went on, you know, so everything was discussed around the table. And then also, like, as, as the years went on, so we had partners and, you know, whether it was boyfriends, girlfriends and all that sort of thing. And actually the funny part about our kitchen table was there was one side where you were sort of because it was a, um, a bench seat, you could not get out. So, in other words, if you sat there, you were stuck there for the whole <laughs> time. So, really, look, so really, really fond memories of the kitchen. Yeah. So, so, you know, the kitchen table, but also, like, with the cooking. From a very young age, also, like, there was... Everyone was welcome at the Dingles family, right? So, therefore... We had a lot of, um, you know, workers or people that would come and sort of do different jobs and that for us. So it was always, you know, do you want to stay for lunch? Do you want to stay for dinner? So sometimes, like, we would have to cook for 20 and it would not be a bother. Like, we would just do it from a young age. And so some of the funny things that I think of is, like, when there was a whole lot of, you know, like, um, young workers there, mm -hmm. the potato mash was, you know, not like a, a pot this big. Yeah. It is this big. Yeah, so, so you know, so I think that's probably some of the things that, you know, like it, it, it was nothing to us to make a meal for anyone who turned up. Yeah, so that that's sort of like the philosophy, I suppose, about Dingles. So that well. generosity of spirit, you think that's kind of where your ethos of, of Dingles Cafe oh, comes from? Oh, definitely, yes, yes, definitely. You know, like it's, and and to me, like a kitchen, yeah. From if if everyone does reflect about, you know, what their kitchen. As I say, I've got wonderful memories. Some may not, um, and and I think. You know, in different phases in your life. So when I was, you know, a mum bringing up three children, um, that was another story altogether. I yeah. really didn't like the kitchen yeah. because I was feeding hungry children, uh, working full time by myself. So making a meal, um, you know, was was sometimes a very rushed yeah. affair. And you know, I can remember one night my son George telling me, Mum. I don't taste any love in this. I said, there's not, just eat it. <laughs> <laughs> so, you know, like it's... But now, with my with my family that are now adults, my sons actually cook for me. And it's a beautiful thing. Like it's... Yeah, so it's once again in the kitchen, just sitting around, chatting, you, you know, um, yeah, cooking, enjoying the meal. Yeah, to, to me it's such a... It's like the, I don't know, what, the engine room, I suppose, of, of any home, really. And, and that's why I think, you know, to me, if I, I could not probably function if I had a closed-off kitchen. Yeah. Like, to me, it all has to be together, whether you're cooking for just one person, your loved one, whether it's, you know, for 20, it's still that, you know, feeling of... Um, yeah, just everyone coming together. 
Yeah. I think I, I like that story that you just mentioned about the different phases in your life and how the kitchen is always there, but it's role, it role changes. Oh, for depending sure. Depending on what yes. stage yes. in your life you are. Yes, and so here we are now yeah. in Dingles where... You know, it it's okay to cook for, you know, as I say, like 20 people. But then when you have chefs that you, you know, that you trust, and, and so I think some, sometimes we can actually annoy them probably too much because we, we do, we've always, you, you know, had, um, you know, really good produce, simple food, but just cooked really well. And, and I think that's the thing. Sometimes people may not think that sort of, anything special yeah. but it actually is if yes. you've got you know amazing produce which we you know um, locally source a lot of things yeah. as much as we can um, so you know once again it's that story isn't it about everything like where your food comes from to the kitchen to um, to you you know all your family members you know yeah. and and you know you think of the kitchen table as well too yes. like how many times have you had fun times and then it might be also sad times as yes. well that you've actually had um, around the, the kitchen table. And I think, you know, like we lost our dad 10 years ago yeah. and as I say, he, he was such a, a huge part of our life but also like even having a cup of tea, it was always around the table. Um, and I think... Yeah, to have to have people come into Dingles, and we can actually extend that sort of you know hospitality. That um, you know you are welcome. Yeah, you are welcome into our home. Um, sit around. Yeah, so it's more of a community here, and then of course you know people come because we do have very good scrambled eggs. Well, it's definitely <laughs> something I've always experienced here is that sense of family. I mean, since the first time I came here, I, I felt welcome, and it's always been somewhere that I really love to come. Whether I just grab my laptop and I'm working, or whether I bring people for lunch, you definitely do feel that um, that family experience. Yes, and, and you, I, you yes, that. Wes, and that's wonderful. Like that, that's the feedback that we get a lot, and I do think. That's the thing. I, I think it's it's really hard work, isn't it? When you think about any kitchen, whether it's home or here, it's a massive job, and it's like it's you know tedious in a sense because you know like you spend all this time preparing. People eat it down in a second. They go, "Oh, that was lovely," but it's you, you know like you have to do that day in, day out, hour in, you know like that kind of stuff. So therefore, to, to me, if it's not in your heart, you would not be able to do it. Yes. It's that simple. And as I say, hey, my son George could taste that there wasn't yeah, anything that's, into, that's you know. True. You, you can taste yeah. the love in food. Yeah. Definitely. So, yeah. so I think, yeah. So being able to extend that here is is definitely like it's a part of what Sue and I are all about. Yeah. Yeah. No, so. I think you've definitely achieved that. Yes, um, thank you, Wes. Really, yes. We absolutely love it. Uh, Dingles could be sort of the kitchen of Rockhampton in a way. <laughs> yeah, you know, it's where the heart sits. Yes, so, yes, yes. But yes. thank you very much for your time. I oh. really appreciate you chatting with us today. Yeah, no, my and, pleasure, um, Wes. And yeah. as I say, like, you know, and, and every day in Dingles, someone would ask about our story. Yeah. And I think that's something that's really special yes. to me because when Sue and I were putting, you know, like, the concept of Dingles and we put mum and dad on the wall and whatever we were doing it because that's what we love yes. like that's what we love to do right but we didn't think so many people would be so interested yeah. in in the story behind it so it's, it's actually been wonderful well, it's a lovely like, story it's, yeah I think people can 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 feel authenticity and realness yes versus, uh, a pretend story I think people can sense that yes yeah. yes so no, I think that's, that's why people can be included Yes, that's what it's all about, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. So thank you. Thank Wes. you very much. Lovely.